this is Dan at Master Trader, and we're here in our green trading room looking at a number of possible candidates of selling bull and bear put credit spreads using the Master Trader method. One of our subscribers just sent me a list of possible candidates that he asked me to review and thought we would just make a little recording here so I can, you know, so folks in the green room can see my analysis in real time. And at Master Trader, everything starts with a chart. No, no pattern, no trade. Once we do have a pattern, depending on multiple time frames being in alignment, if we have a big target or we just want to profit from calling a short-term top or bottom, that will dictate whether we do a stock or option trade. So everything we're talking about in, in the next few minutes are going to be possible setups for uh, just income trades where we're profiting from uh, selling an out-of-the-money call or put spread. And I'm not going to get into the math of whether it's a, a an inadequate uh, premium received in days to expiration. That would be part two of the analysis because I'm, he just asked me to focus on the technical setup. So let's, let's begin with the bull put ones. He asked about Amazon, and it's now 1019 a.m., so I have my daily chart on the left, weekly on the right, but I'm giving you the time just to show you that uh, today's bar is less than one hour um, in the making. And he sent me the uh, list pre-market, so he was looking at the charts as they existed, you know, last night, this morning. Amazon, he's asking about a bull put credit spread. He's bullish, the engulfing, the proper entry, though, was yesterday over the high of this red bar, and it would only be a short-term put spread, like for this Friday. Uh, today is um, Wednesday, so if he did it yesterday, which was Tuesday, then it would be a three-day put spread, and that would be totally fine. It uh, bottomed here, wide range, one, two, three continuation, but it's too late to put it on now. We've rallied back to the prior high. It's still a very bullish weekly and monthly, but the answer is no on technicals. There, there's no good entry right now. The next one, CRM. Same thing. I said it looks higher if you got to do it short term because it's already made a pretty good move off this prior pivot low. So if you if you got, and that's where I go into part two of the analysis, if they did it yesterday or even the day before, once again, this was the proper day over the high of this bottoming tail bar. That's when you should have done it for this Friday expiration. And then we would ideally want to sell a put spread just right under this big wide range bar because that's a power engulfing igniting bar uh, suggesting uh, with high probability at least a short term bottom. So same answer, it's a little late on that one. IBM, uh, wide range igniting here. Very, there's actually no pattern here. And that's one of the other beautiful things of selling put spreads. It, it can be sloppy. We're getting paid just to say that it's not going under this wide range bar. So now we have one, two, three days of consolidation. On this one, I told him, yes. I like selling an out-of-the-money put spread over the high of this bar. And you have to uh, you know, determine which strikes you want to sell and how many days to expiration. PGR, wide range bar out of this multi-week consolidation. I like the inside day, inside day. Yesterday was the proper time uh, to sell your out-of-the-money put spread over the high of these three bars. I also told him, you, it's definitely not a directional because you look to the left and you have tons of congestion and resistance. But for a short-term put spread, the high of these three bars was fine. TSM. Um, I just said there's no, there's absolutely no pattern to us whatsoever. And I, I can also tell that it's an American depository receipts, a foreign company, trades on a foreign exchange. Uh, because of all these gaps, um, but absolutely no pattern here. So I have zero interest on that one. Twilio, big pro gap up uh, yesterday on earnings, monster volume. 
But you got to be careful, and we love selling options on earnings trades. But you got to be careful on these on these big gap up trades to make sure they aren't going to retrace. I'll just give you a quick e example. Um, T two. Look at T two. Also had a beautiful pro bullish gap on earnings the other day, but then it immediately sold off. So that that's you know that's the concern. But he, there's many others that are uh, marvelous. Look at a. Uh, Look at soda. Same thing on earnings. Blasted off, but this one did not retrace. So a 30-minute high or something like that would have given you the confidence of strength and it going higher. So, you know, gaps are a very special uh, breed. In the Master Trader Green Room, we specialize in selling and going trading stocks and options around gaps, news, earnings. You know, we trade everything in there. Uh, but we have a very specific methodology on the setup and the action and the type of trade to take. Final bullish one that he is asking me about, XTL. Uh, we actually, in the green room, we went long stock on this breakout. It's a breakout on the daily and the weekly. And so I responded to him. I said, sure, I like it if you can find um, adequate premium and time to expiration. Right now it's neutral, three bar pullback. So I would say the proper entry would be over the high of yesterday's bar. Now he's asking about a couple of bear call spread candidates. Aaron Johnson, ugly red bar. So that's a short term top, bearish consolidation in the lower half of that. I said, you're fighting a bullish weekly in a bullish sector. But if you can sell out of the money premium up here, so 133 or higher for short term, like only a, a week or so, then that would be fine. We're always looking at sectors in the broader markets to an alignment. So here's the pharmaceutical ETF, um, XP, there, you know, there's a couple of them. In the master trader, ETF trader, where we have longer term trades of, of liquid ETFs only, uh, we're, we're actually core long this. Um, I think on, you know, this, this breakout right there, or, you know, so, so you, you don't want to fight a bullish sector. JPM, he's asking about. I said, number one, there's no pattern. This is a strong uptrend after a breakdown failure, higher highs, higher lows. Well, yes, there's resistance on the weekly, but on the daily, there's absolutely zero reason to put on a bear call credit spread on this pattern. Once again, look at the XLF, which is the, uh, the financial ETF. Don't fight strength, fight weakness or bear shakeout or a climactic cell setup with, with a retest. I mean, I mean, we definitely fade things, but we do them intelligently using master trader strategies. LQD, he said, I just, I responded, and I just said there's absolutely no pattern here. And I, he said, well, the, I see an evening star. And I said, well, you know, I can't, and on your stars, because I don't talk like that. I talk just looking at candle patterns, trends. And I said, look, daily, weekly is just in a wide trading range. I said, if you wanted to sell a bear call spread on this, then again, just make it short term. But on the weekly over here, I said, you have a bullish retest. You had a big move up. And you're in a trading range on the weekly chart also. So it's just it's just not a high probability trade that that I wanna be part of. And I also don't like the gap, so I, I just don't trade gappy things like that. Finally, XLV, what do you think I told him? Same thing with with a Johnson and Johnson and JPM. It's it's in an uptrend. Why are you fighting it? no stay away and that is the end of the list so i hope that uh, video review helped we started
the pattern, and if I found something bullish, then as I mentioned, step two is going to the option table, figuring out how long I don't mind being in the trade and how much I'm getting paid for selling that out of the money put spread. And we have a specific formula we go through to make sure that it's adequate premium. And then we put on the trade and simply manage in between. Happy trading all, and uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel at YouTube to continue to receive valuable lessons and check out our Master Trader Green Trading Room if you'd like to see how we do this in real time, objectively, every trading day. Good trading all.